frei für mich. Ich möchte euch ein paar Worte sagen, weil das war speaking. Ich schrieb ein paar Dinge auf und ich Group of young people who love the game. I hate to mention this, but I cannot but help remembering 25, 30 years ago when another group of young people who love the game got together. I'm obviously referring to my club. I'm only referring to this because there's a great, great similarity in young faces, a lot of energy, and I couldn't help but think, you know, when we entered the MFA uh, 30 years ago, We were the latest club at the time, the youngest. You are, I think, the second youngest. I think after you, there's only one other club, I think, which was here, Marsa Scala. So you are basically, basically, basically one of the youngest, uh, latest members of the MFA. And I understand um, that that has advantages and it has disadvantages. Obviously, the disadvantage is that since you're the last one in, you have to start from absolutely zero from nothing. You have to get your first team together and you have nothing. So admittedly, that is, yes, a difficulty which you're going to have to learn just like everybody else. But it also has its advantages, I think. I think the advantages lie in the fact that you are not bound by what has been done before. You are young, you have fresh, you have ideas. Because the truth of the matter is that football at the moment is in a very crucial situation. If we don't respect financial fair, the way we've done things before has led us to the situation which we are in now. And this is the biggest challenge that we are now going to face. As from this year, the UEFA are now introducing financial fair play. Level playing field for everybody. And this is going to be the biggest challenge. You are registered as an amateur club, which is fine. But remember, the biggest, your biggest challenge is not, you will need the infrastructure, we've talked about that, you will need a base, you, have, you will need a cloud to meet. Without a cloud, you're always going to be like gypsies. We went through that looks so for many years, eventually we found a cloud, and with that cloud, we then have the infrastructure, you're definitely going to need. It's the biggest challenge, and I've already told you at the MFA, we need to find a plot of land, something, so that you can call it a base, call it home, because without a home, it will be very difficult to survive. Once the initial energy, you know, you have given birth to something, it could die if you don't have the backup support. You're all very young now, you have the energy, but it's a long way ahead. I'm only telling you this to make you aware of the challenges ahead, because it's not easy. I know that it's not easy, but you're definitely going to need premises and a training facility, somewhere which you can call home. And I hope that with us, with, with the, the mayor of Sweden, something has to be done, because it's important for us, like you said, to foster human development, create a culture. This is what football is about. Football is not about winning cups. That is coming at too high a cost. And all the people have their between us full of cups are finding out that the cost is too high and it's not sustainable anymore. And they're going to have they're going to have to change the way they think. That's your biggest advantage. You talk of things like web presence, Facebook, YouTube, these are things which are absolutely new to 95% of football clubs. So the advantage of coming in late late has its advantages, but it's also got its great challenges. So in the long term, my My advice to you is one, the biggest, you are young, you're not married yet, eventually you'll have married, you'll have wives, you'll have nagging wives, you'll have wailing children, okay, it becomes more difficult as you grow older. So you have to build a platform on which, uh, I'll... Uh, I don't know how you speak from these ladies, I don't have that problem. All right, okay, trust me. Your lovely girlfriends will turn into nagging wives. Say, so, you know, football, always football, always football, also. That's, that's another challenge that comes later. But your biggest responsibility, the biggest difficulty is to overcome yourselves. The decisions you take. Stay clean. You are an amateur club. Do not put financial burdens. SWE is a club, the latest club in the division. You are amateur for the love of the game. I wrote it, Mr. President. Remember that. For the love of the game. For football to go forward, I think in the next few years, we are going to have to go 
banquets. We have lost this love of the game. And there's no way I will accept a club like Sweeney, players who come to play with Sweeney, with these, with these objectives, with these, with these ideals, which you said are fostered by all the committee members. If you stick together as a committee, a guy comes and says, I want to get paid, then Sweeney is not for you. There will be a time, if you want it, to take that step. But it will only remain fun if you stay within the parameters that you have applied to the MFA. You are an amateur club. Theoretically, if you want to play for Sweeney, play without getting paid. I know what I am telling you. The temptations will start creeping in, and then all of a sudden it's only 50 euros a month for expenses and petrol expenses. If you want to play football, you are an amateur club, do so. But your biggest challenge is infrastructure, starting your own nursery, providing football, doing all the things. You have fantastic goals. And I'm sure you have a fantastic committee who is agreed. That is your biggest challenge. Stay the way you are for the love of the game. Like I said, I don't want to repeat. For um, the MFA, we need to find a home for Sweetie, a little training pitch, that a little place that they can call their home. We've tried, we've discussed, Sweetie is not easy. There isn't that much property in Sweetie which is available, or you might have to move out for a while, things like that. People have done that, they've had to move out of their own uh, locality to find an MFA. Facility. And like I said in the past, the MFA is committed to help you because we believe that that is the only way that we can help our clubs to foster the goals which you have mentioned and to do it for the love of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Demario. I would now like to invite Dr. Robert Arrigo to give us his speech.